All right, guys, despite it being finals week, I am going to give you my review of Cal Poly in Wisconsin. Uh, it's coming up tonight. I'm not going to be able to go to the game. I don't, I don't honestly think there's going to be a big turnout for that. There'll probably be a lot of the older alumni there and just, uh, you know, a few adults and stuff, but I don't think the student section is going to really be there. They really don't need to be for this one. I really shouldn't talk like that. I should just be, like, slapping myself for saying stuff like that. It's ridiculous that I say that after the Green Bay loss. But I really don't think it's going to happen again. There's not going to be another kind of upset like that. So I really don't think this Cal Poly game is going to be overly significant, despite the fact that it's going to help um, our bench. So uh, anyway, before I get ahead of myself, I'm going to jump into the, a few things that I think are going to be important in this one. Um, one of the first things that I like about this game and the fact that we scheduled this game is it came right before Big Ten play. And look for the bench to get a lot of playing time in this one and kind of like freshen up a little bit, get some stuff down. You know, they can kind of finalize their rotations and, you know, who they want to get in when, different situational things. They can kind of finalize all these things at home uh, before they get into Big Ten play and things really start getting serious and start getting competitive. So look for the bench and uh, kind of, you know, how Bo Ryan's going to utilize the team this year. I think they'll kind of work on some of that. Starters will play until the game gets, you know, a little out of control, which I, I know this one will. I'm going to say it. I told myself I'd never tell myself that again. You know, they'll win by 20 points after Green Bay, but I'm going to predict it in this one again, especially considering that this one's at home. So I have Wisconsin in this one. I have only, uh, you know, predicted one game wrong this entire year. It was the Cal Poly one, or not Cal Poly one, excuse me. It was the Green Bay one. But uh, it's the only one I've really predicted wrong, and um, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make the mistake this time. If I do, I'll probably just stop making these videos because I obviously have no idea what I'm talking about. But I have Wisconsin winning this one by like 15, I'm going to say. So it's usually a pretty good number. Um, Cal Poly, <laughs> they actually gave our football team last year, or a couple years ago, sorry, a run for their money. And uh, actually defeated Wisconsin at home, but that was a football team. And um, that was another one of those games where they just made mistakes and it cost them. But this is basketball. This is now. Badgers already had that terrible game where they lost when they shouldn't have. So I don't think it's going to happen again. I think they'll take care of business in this one. Uh, look for, I want to say look for Jason Bohannon, but yeah, he's just he's the guy that I really want you guys to look for. I want, I want to see him. I want to see him step out in this game and actually get He's playing with no confidence. He has absolutely no confidence. You see him lately passing up threes. Jason Bohanna should never be passing up a three-pointer. And you see him passing up those threes, kicking the ball around. You know he'll, he'll pass it. When he's wide open for three, he'll think about it, hesitate. And at that point, he's got somebody up on him, so he's got to kick it out. But he's, he's got to get that confidence back. He's playing without confidence. So look for Jason Bohanna to hopefully get something going here this week. Um, Trayvon is going to be Trayvon. Uh, John Luer has been a beast the past couple of games. He's been good for 20 points, 10 rebounds or more the past couple of games. So, uh, I've been impressed with John Luer and happy with, uh, the inside of the post game and stuff. I've also been really happy with Ryan Evans off the bench. He's been really good lately. So Ryan Evans is kind of showing he was I think, Mr. Basketball, if you want to call it that in, uh, in Arizona when we recruited him last year. So he's a really good ball player and, um, we utilize him well off the bench. So, before I just start rambling about this game, because there's really no key things in this game, I think it's kind of just going to go the way it's going to go, and the Badgers will control it. I mean, they're at home, so they'll be fine in this one. Uh, final score, I'm going to say probably Badgers 83, Cal Poly maybe 56. It, I don't even know if Cal Poly will get to 50, 50 points in this one, though. I think the Badgers defense, and I think they're just gonna they're gonna be on top of it this time. They're not gonna make the mistake they did with Green Bay, and uh, especially not at home. They don't lose at home very much at all, and I guarantee you they won't lose again to Cal Poly. So Wisconsin in this one, uh, getting ready for some big play coming up in Big Ten. Uh, they got a couple games before Big Ten play starts. This being one of them, so look for Wisconsin to do their thing in this game. See you guys.